Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is November 2nd, 2021. And we just share this information about the COVID shots for children beginning next week, November 8th. And we would all love to be out of here before this happens and we don't know if we're going to be out of here before this happens or if a short period of time may be permitted i'm seeing one thing um, that i want to share with you right now and this may connect us to the 10 days of tribulation from revelation chapter 2 the 10 days of tribulation I shared about the COP26 and the revealing of the Antichrist and how signs may be pointing us to November 16th, November 17th. Okay, we're all searching for information and understanding. And November 16th and 17th may be connected to the beginning of the vaccinations plus a 10 day, 10 day window. Vaccinations of the children, you will have 10 days of tribulation taking us to approximately November 16th, November 17th. Now, there's a heavenly sign on this day that I wanna share with you and it could be very significant and all we can do is consider and the um, the new moon of the ninth month of Kislev is going to be around November 5th November 6th um, the new moon will be in Libra the Sun will be in Libra this is the month of Libra okay judgment the scales and then if we go on to November 16th and 17th this is a very interesting lineup here in Libra we have Mars Mercury and the Sun all together in the constellation of Libra okay and I was searching from now until around this time frame and I mean if we are pointing here to if we are pointing here to let's just consider okay the November 4th new moon here anywhere between November 5th and November 6th the new moon is going to be appearing and this is entering into Libra okay so if we stay in Libra here and watch this move forward we're gonna see that things are coming together here around November 16th and November 17th okay Mars is the planet of war Mercury is the messenger planet and the Sun represents Jesus Christ in the scales this could be the time of our of the judgment beginning here okay the tribulation may begin on November 5th 6th 7th or 8th and there may be 10 day uh, may, there may be a 10 day period that continues okay so I do think there's going to be heightened judgments that are going to be coming together with the beginning of the vaccination of the children 
I don't know if we're going to be out of here immediately as that begins or there will be a short time. Okay. Revelation talks about being faithful unto the death. The devil w will put some of us into prison for 10 days. There will be 10 days of tribulation. Okay. And I believe that is a time, a 10 day period leading up to the actual rapture of the church and the beginning of the complete wrath of God that is going to be poured out after the rapture of the church. So just a few things to consider here. I'm not trying to say I know how this is all going to play out. Okay. I'm searching as we all are searching. So let us just remain faithful, continue to be patient. Many are hurting and struggling and maybe now would be a good time as we are entering into a, a time that we did not expect even to see now that we've had so many things leading us to Halloween, November 1st, October 24th came and went. And we're still here and there's so many people that are really, really getting desperate. Let's just have a word of prayer together tonight and pray for each other. I'll pray for you, you pray for me, and let's pray for all of our brothers and sisters around the world and for the Church of Jesus Christ and for all those who are still in that valley of decision about that jabberoo that many are getting forced into taking because they don't want to lose their jobs or they don't know where they're going to, where their next meal is going to come from okay we know we need to overcome the temptations of the enemy the lies of satan okay so let's just have a word of prayer together tonight dear heavenly father i just thank you so much for this amazing time that you have given us to live in this generation, to see all of these things that are happening in the world, and to be in the, this end of the fig tree generation when Jesus said this generation will not pass until all of these things have come, have been fulfilled. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. And Lord, I just want to pray tonight for all of your people around the world who are struggling, who are hurting, who are in pain, who are desperate, who are seeking their next meal, not knowing what to do, not knowing how they're going to live even one more day or one more week or one more month. And Lord, we have come to such a critical time and there's so much pressure right now to get everybody to take what they are offering. They want everyone to take what they are offering. Not knowing that those that are offering are the ones that are leading the entire world to its own destruction. Lord God, I just pray right now that you would give your people strength. Help those people who are in the valley of decision that they would choose correctly to the salvation of their souls. Anyone who can still be saved, Lord, please have mercy and let them be saved. Reach out. Let the word come to them. Let them be warned personally, physically, mentally, through dreams, through visions. Speak to your people about what is happening. Open their eyes and Lord God have mercy as this world is entering into its darkest hour in the history of mankind. 
Lord, we need you tonight. We need you, and we ask you, Father, for the power of your Holy Spirit to be with each and every one of us, to give us strength, to help us to persevere until the end. Those who persevere until the end shall be saved. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us that strength. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us that example as you went to the cross and paid the ultimate price and the ultimate sacrifice to save humanity. And we thank you, Lord, that you have invited us to receive the gift of eternal life. We pray, God, that you would have mercy upon this world and help us to make it to glory, to eternity, to be with you and to be with all of our loved ones that have gone on before us who have loved you with unfailing love. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I just pray tonight encouragement, strength, blessing, and perseverance, patience, and victory upon your people and upon the entire world. Lord, have mercy. We give you glory and honor tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, brothers and sisters, for... Uh, just taking some time tonight with me to pray and to hear uh, what I wanted to share. And um, we're all getting more than anxious to be out of here very, very soon. And we don't know exactly that day, but we can see that day approaching. We can see all of the signs of what is happening with the one world government and what they're doing in these world summits and they are moving forward with their plans but you are but the Lord is moving forward with his plans and so we are on the winning side be encouraged be strengthened and be blessed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ this is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed.